I know some of you have been waiting for me to talk about Terry Crews and his recent comments. Some of y'all seem to be shocked or really, really upset. And I get the upset part to a certain degree, but you shouldn't really be any more upset than you already should be. And what I mean by that is, is that I told you guys four years ago that Terry Crews is a coon. He's a handkerchief head. He's always on. He threw his own father on the bus in, a, in mixed company, meaning white women or a mixed crowd of, of, of people, meaning white men, white women, Asian, Hispanic, Arab, you name it, to sell a book or to, to, to get more viewers or more sympathetic eye towards him. I told you he was dangerous. And a lot of y'all dismissed it. And I kept telling y'all, I said, let Terry keep talking long enough. You're going to see his true colors. Then the Me Too movement started up and he thought that, well, let me go and get up in and see if they let a man up in here. But let a black man in here who's muscular and dark skinned see if that worked. And that didn't really work. They used him for all about five seconds. But every time he says something, it's usually a slight or dig back at the black community. When he says something about black supremacy, there's no such thing. And Terry being a black man knows that. There's no such thing as a black racist, no such thing as black supremacy. And see, when black folk like Terry say that, or a black man in particular say that, white folks, they love it. They stop. When Terry Crews says black racism, he's black, one of, one, what, a handful of blacks to say that? Because he's getting paid. See, Terry liked being on TV. Terry liked, liked getting out of the pub. I mean, remember, ever since the guy came out, his shtick was flexing his pecs. Remember how loud he was in every movie he played in? He was feminized. He was gay or suspected gay. Remember that? Only thing I ever really liked Terry Crews is probably everybody hates Chris. Because he somewhat played a normal dude. I'll be a cheap dude. But he played a straight man. He played the father. He was a, on the household. Head of the household. Terry sat there and wanted to, he wanted to, he wanted to go after black folk because he he didn't want to, and I keep saying when you got black folks to say stuff like that they said to keep people from, at work or people around for asking you that question oh uh, Terry what do you feel about Black Lives Matter what do you think about the protests what do you think about George Floyd or whomever and he don't want to ask that so he flips it. So he goes on social media and he said, hey, we got to talk about it all. We just can't talk about this. We got to talk about black supremacy. Don't let white supremacy turn you into a black supremacist. What? I Now, if he would have said, don't let they, hatred and they racism make you become something you're not or don't respond a certain way in a negative way, then I get it because we've I've said said don't let them get you like that don't start doing things or saying things out of just out of frustration and they want you to do that so they can use your words against you your actions against you so they can justify it when people got mad at terry he did what he did to gary i'm like first of all terry showed y'all what he was on he's not loyal number one and then number two why y'all defending gary and union but when he says something about black supremacy, he's about people criticizing because of his, his mixed wife. I remember, when, first of all, let's get this straight. Terry's wife is light-skinned. Ain't nothing mixed about her. She's just a light-skinned sister. Because before, you never heard nobody, you never heard him say nothing about his wife getting, getting uh, criticized. That was his way of trying to clean up the mess from America's Got Talent. Excuse me, drinking some water. That's all it was. <clears throat> he gets to certain places. He gets an interview and he realized he said too much. He got to backtrack. Terry's not stupid. At least we're not, well, in that sense, he's not stupid. He figured if I gotta stay in white the white orbit, I get more from them if I do this. And unfortunately, he's been doing this for a minute, throwing his community under the bus. And I tell, tell y'all goes back to when he started throwing his dad under the bus. If you guys remember, I did the I said, "Yo, Terry is, is 
throwing his father under the bus to get get points. Some of y'all was paying attention, and some of y'all wasn't. I said, watch. He's going to keep going. He's going to keep going. This is the same dude that's talking about he got me too. You let another man grab your, your, your junk, and you did nothing. You wasn't forceful. You didn't call. You, I mean, you didn't. You didn't take hands on the dude. But you go out there and, 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 and throw and, and, and throw shade at your people. Now, people ask Terry about racism. He said, "Well, I can't speak to that." Remember the question they asked him when they gathered you anything? I never seen him. I can't speak to that. I'm never do my job. Remember he said that. But you can sit there and say black folks are black supremacists. At best, a black person give you a negative reaction. You may not like what we have to say at times about certain things, but there's no such thing as a black supremacist. I want you to tell me where black folks have kept other people from living their lives. We let everybody come into our community. We let everybody steal from our culture. We lay down with everybody. Everybody know, knows more about us at times than we do. Cause we let, cause what's that say? Don't let your left hand know what your right hand do. do. But we let, I, we let our left hand, we let people know what our left and right hand are doing. We always want to forgive people of, of spite of us. I never forget when John McCain was running back um, in 08 against Obama, and he went on, when he went to celebrate the uh, 40th anniversary of King's assassination, and I remember seeing black women. Who 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 are who were well were well well let me do this again who was well versed or was alive when King was assassinated we forgive you we forgive you Terry Crews is one of those Negroes no matter how many times they have done things to you you'll forgive them you'll make excuse for them but if your brother and sister don't agree with you or call you out. You quick to throw them all into the same category. Look, let me tell you something. I don't expect all of us to see the world the same way. I don't expect all of us to respond the same way. But I would never get in front of a mixed group of people and say black supremacy. And then I would never double, double down on that because you know it ain't true. I or my parents or my siblings or their siblings or their parents or their siblings or their parents, they said before them, tell me where black folk have kept people from going into another community. Tell us what we kept them from going to a school or, or voting or having a business or even just supporting their family or having a, just a job or a basic education. If you could tell me what we did all those things, then I would say you got black supremacy. Well, they said you got black racists. Where? Tell me what, tell me, I want you to tell me what, what we've done as considered racist. I want you to show me the images of black kids yelling at white kids trying to go to school. I want you to show me the images of black firefighters with water hoses and police officers with dogs biting people. I want you to show me images of white police officers, I mean black police officers taking the flags out of white protesters' hands. I want you to tell me where we got a flag that that was against the United States was treasonous against the United States and still held on as a legacy. We don't have those things. We've been the most forgiving people on the planet. We've been the most open people on the planet to our detriment. And Terry wanted to decide you want to throw black folks under the bus. But it was the black community that made you who you are. It was us that was supporting you in those, those films and stuff. Then after a while, when white folks discover you, you done went full coon. And he ain't the only black person that's done this. But I told y'all, every time Terry Crews come out, I said it. The moment he, his father came out, I said, if he come out through his father, he got a game plan. And you notice, this is why Terry Crews has been everywhere just about the last four, five years. Because he's been willing to go out here and say things that he know are not true. If you got daddy issues, go get counseling. Look, my, my, my mother wasn't perfect. My father is not perfect. But I would never go out in public saying my parents did this or said that. If, if anything, those things would be personal. Those things would be kept, kept between myself and my psychiatrist. 
And sometimes you just got to move on. He pulling the same, do that same trick that so many well-known blacks do. They get rich. My daddy did this. My mama. But y'all got to throw your daddy under the bus. He giving interviews, doubling down and saying, yeah, I'm in it. I'm not biting yo. Remember, this is a muscle-bound black guy that like wearing women's clothes. We sit, we just sat back for years and let people like Terry and them get in front of the camera, get in front of the mic, and they speak, and we never call it out. While, while we doing a protest about structural racism, this is all part of structural racism, y'all y'all don't believe it or not. Black folks get in front of the cameras and they and, and do that in celebrities, actors and actors, singers and dancers speak for our community. They don't get to speak for us. They speak for themselves. Now people say, what's, what, what's, what's the difference in you and Terry? I'm not going to sit there and speak in absolutes, number one. Number two, I'm not stupid enough to say something that black supremacy exists when it doesn't. Because if it did, our communities wouldn't look the way they look, or we, our people wouldn't be, be fighting multiple battles the way we are. I warned y'all four years ago. I said, Terry Crews is dangerous. I said, I said he's anchor chin head. He's a coon. Ha oh, ha, he's criticizing him. He, his father could have done it. I said, yeah, very well could I never dismissed that. But why don't you go to the view and the talking bad mouth your dad? You're a grown ass man. I've never seen a group of men so, 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 so punkish in my life. My dad didn't hug me enough. He didn't play catch me enough. Get over it. You still you in your forties still yelling about that, man? Something wrong with you. There's no such thing as a perfect childhood. You said and, and, and like now now the whole Gary Union thing, I, I'm kinda glad that he didn't defend her. Because because she didn't deserve to be defended, in my personal opinion. Because of the backstabby ways. But I've been I've been on point about these people. I'm telling y'all, sit back or step back and watch them. They're gonna put their foot in their mouth at some point. They're gonna show their true personality at some point. See, the problem with us, we want to save everybody that look like us. But you gotta understand, everybody that look like us ain't down with us. To sit there and say that black folks practice black supremacy. You just gave white folk, especially those over at Fox and them, a Christ, an early Christmas gift. Well, you know, after Terry Crews said in the black community is black supremacy, it's black racism. They've criticized this half black wife. What she don't say nothing. So how who who criticized? I don't remember ever criticized his wife. In fact, a lot of us said we would we would never let nobody do what that guy did in front of his wife. If anything, we would defend his wife. I mean, I want you to think about that for a second. Tell me what, now, maybe somebody personal, maybe she said something, or maybe she did something, he, he holding a grudge, and he want to just not want to call that person out, just say, let me just say black folks in general. When he, Dr. Ben Carson, and all these other Negroes do this, dangerous, because you're giving cover to white supremacy. Or you give, give a cup to those who are brown-skinned people like ourselves. And when I say brown skin, I mean those so-called minorities. Yeah, I know we used to be identified, say black, but we, we got brown skin, tan skin, how we want to want to look at it. We give them cover as well to be racist and, 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 and sneaky towards us because first thing they say, the black people think they better. They don't want to help us. They're racist too. I, I hear it all the time from people. I'm like, tell me why we racist. When everybody's come over and got fed off us. See, Terry wants to stay on that NBC show. Not, not just the Brooklyn show that America's Got Talent. Terry wants to be able to go transition to movies every now and then. This is the same Terry Crews that got down with Sylvester Stallone and Arnold Schwarzenegger and Dolph Lundgren and them on Wall Street and took off his damn shirt like a damn fool in front of all the white folk. And i never forget that. I said, you got to be kidding me. But see, he always been a, a coon.
and he'll say something else again. He'll do something else again that's going to be offensive to our community. But I'm telling you right now, folks, and I've been saying this for a minute. Every time you come across a Negro like this, we got we got to ostracize them. They don't get to come back and make money or come back to the community with, I'm sorry. Why you see Gail and Oprah and them been doing a damn this last two, three months to, to try to get back in good, the good grace of the community? And some of you idiots are falling for, well, Oprah talking about it. You know, okay. Y'all forget what happened the beginning of this year. Y'all forget what happened the beginning of last year. I don't like opportunists. I don't like hypocrites. But Terry Crews is 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 an opportunist in the worst way. He's a hypocrite. He has major self hate issues. He got daddy issues. Men, men can be sexist too. Black men can, can do this in the community. Wait a minute. Talk talk for yourself. You don't know me. Every other month, this brother got something to say. 